So this is our camp that we're staying at outside of Zion on some BLM property. Nice little quiet spot until, uh, remember the people I talked to you about that are inconsiderate, don't care about anything but themselves? Look at these people right here. Came in at 1.30 last night. 1.30 in the morning, unloaded their rigs right outside our bedroom window. That may explain it all. Didn't care, said they were having truck problems. I call BS. And then they uh, say, well, we couldn't find a place to stay. They could have stayed in town at 1.30 over the night, but I'm sure they had to unload their their cars so they could run the bunks down and sleep probably. But anyway, don't be that guy or gal. day two at Zion we're gonna do the grotto hike and we're gonna do emerald pools so what we're gonna do we're gonna cross the river and then we're gonna take a left uh, lower uh, emerald pool is closed I, I believe so we're gonna go do upper it's uh, what they say it was approximately three miles with an elevation of 325 feet so yeah, let's go have for another great walk we've already seen countless deer this morning on the way in so I think it's gonna be a good time the ladies getting all their stuff ready to go once again no pets on the trails bikes drones campfires and other stuff pack it in pack it out we already saw a turkey up the road the California condors hangs around here too Hundred hour penalty if you feed feed the wildlife. All right. Yeah, I think this one. And I can't wait till I get to civilization where I can get a uh, more wind muff. So I'm just going to have to try to do what I can do with the uh, wind today, because it is a lot breezier today. Nice little walk over bridge. So let's go have some fun. All right, so far the uh, little hike up here, kind of an uneven path. It's rated as moderate, so it's just not a flat walking path. So this one you're going to have to have some hiking boots. Check out the prickly pear down there blooming. Very cool. There's some deer over there. I'm sure you can't see them, but right through there through the trees. Some more prickly pear over there. So, this would be one of our most, I guess you would say, strenuous hikes of this season. So you just got to be careful. Take your time. Go slow. And if you're going to fall, fall to the right. The girls found some more beauty. Yeah. We did. We gotta get those flowers. Oh, they're all over. Oh. Isn't that cool? The prickly pear. Summer is here. A whole bunch more up there, but we're not going to get off the trail too far. What do you think? Is that pretty? Oh, it's very pretty. What do you think of the trail so far? This is one of our 
most difficult trail so far, huh? Yeah, but I mean, you get such a pretty view of all of this. I mean, you're up higher. It's really a nice, it's a, it's a nice angle to be at, to go up and look at it from a different viewpoint from being down at the bottom. You're actually seeing it closer up. I mean, like you see all the trees that are growing into the sides and everything. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Give me a big old smile. It's early in the morning. <laughs> I might use you as a thumbnail in, in this background. <laughs> Everybody is. Well, we just wanted to take a moment to stop on our hike this morning, the uh, second day of the reopening of Zion. Give a little shout out to some people that we're missing. Kim, who you got some shout outs to? Shirley, we miss you. Yes, wish you were here. Yep. Sharon, Sharon and Bobby. Yep. Yep. And Jim and Deb, we wish y'all were here. This was a great hike. I think you'd love this hike. Oh, yes. Yes. Very yep. nice. And, all, and don't forget Mr. Wells. That's right, Wells and Ellie. Hey, oh. your Mimi's a TV star. <laughs> <laughs> yep, my grandkids, Dakota and Devin, you guys would have so much fun up here. That's right, and don't forget the Kleins. That's right, Don oh, and yeah. Kevin. Hey, we're glad you're on the road, Don and Kevin. Look forward to catching up with you one day. And happy birthday, Bobby. That's right, Bobby's birthday. Oh. Happy birthday! Yep, in the month of May. And Deb's birthday was yesterday. Yep. We went out and celebrated. We were able to have a sit down at a restaurant and finally eat for the first time in months. And I get to see all this for a birthday present. That's that. Yep. How would you like to come to Zion for your birthday? Awesome. Like and subscribe and comment. It may happen. Have a good day. Well, we're on our way up to Upper Falls. It's a half mile up this way. The branch trail right there goes to Lower Falls, but they had a rock slide. So it is closed for now until they fix it. And the little path, there's a little old stream, spring or just runoff from up there comes all the way down. Real, real pretty. What you think, babe? I think this is just beautiful. Is that like part of the uh, melting snow, you think? I don't know. Could be just rain, could be a spring up there. Tree. You just said it goes up so far. Yep, you never know how far it goes up. It's very pretty. All right, let's let's see if we can climb up a little bit. It's so nice and peaceful mm -hmm. out here. You can hear everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another thing you got to think about when you're out on the trail is, uh, I guess you call use your, noise. Use your inside voice. Yeah, noise pollution <laughs> because your voice will travel a long ways. I mean, have fun and talk amongst yourselves, but remind yourself and the kids that there's other people around and they can probably hear you a half mile away, so. Me. And that's prevalent anywhere when you're in the back country in the trails. Some places you want to make noise so the bears will let you know they're there. But this is more of a different type. You want to soak up the beauty and just look at God's work. Yeah. Wish y'all were here. Hope you're enjoying the video. Got a moment, take a a click on the old like button, comment down below, and uh, give, us a th give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. All right. Let's See you at the next stop. Let's literally get to stepping. Okay, here on the trail, we ended up here at Middle Emerald Pools, which is where the water kind of collects before it goes down, and then we're going to work our way up the trail on the other side, the upper pool, emerald. They have pretty little flowers. Very nice. Oh no, watch out, Daryl. Look at the water coming down, collecting. Nice, nice, nice. Nice little pool here, and then it drops over the cliff, makes a little bit of a waterfall. With a heck of a view. Sun's just coming up over the mountain. About 9.30 in the morning. May 14th, 2020, Zion reopens. Day two. 
Yep. All right, this thing right well there. Well worth the wait. You got your uh, hiking boots on? Yeah. All right, let's get to hiking. Are you kidding me? Here we go. That's where we came from. That's where we going. Only about a half a click away. Maybe less. But boy, what a view. Getting up in elevation again. Starting to breathe heavy. But we're going to keep going. We're going to make it to the end of Upper Emerald Pool. Yeah. Well, we made it up here to Upper Emerald Pool. Got a little partner up here messing around, getting in people's bags. Pretty good hike. Pretty well as, as difficult as Kim and I want to do, but it's well worth it. We'll go up here and chill out for a while. Let's go check it out. We got to get uh, down over there, but it's been some beautiful views on this trail. Hope you enjoyed it. Kim, this was a moderate hike. Yep. This is about. If I can do it. Anybody can do it. This would be about as strenuous as we'd want to do, huh? Yeah. You could definitely feel the burn, yep. and you have to hold on some of the rocks and stuff, but it's fine. Check out these prickly pears. I did it. Maybe this will be the last time we get to see these, but we've seen a, many of these blooming out up nice here. Trail. Just yeah. beautiful. It's well worth the hike. It's about three hours overall. Three miles overall. Yeah, in about three hours. Okay. Took us about an hour and a half to get up there. But well worth it. <laughs>